Hey everyone, I'm sitting here with another non-traditional pharmacist, my good friend Becca, and she's going to be talking today about her job with the FDA. So I'm super excited. Becca, are you ready? I am. Let's do it. Tell us more about this role at the FDA. So beginning in May of 2016, I will be a postdoctoral fellow at the FDA through a program called ORISE, which sponsors internships and fellowships through government organizations and I'll be specializing in informatics and medication safety. Okay, walk us through the process of how you got to this role, to this FDA position. So I kind of started preparing for this way back when I was a sophomore in college. Um, I started in an informatics lab, and so I've been doing informatics for about five years now, and I also had an interest in medication safety through an internship that I did at the U.S. Pharmacopeia. And so I had these two interests, and I really wanted to pursue these interests, and I started looking at fellowships and at jobs. And one of my contacts um, from my lab position was actually at the FDA doing an ORISE fellowship, and she knew this fellowship position had opened up, and she reached out to me to see if I would be interested in it. And I was, and submitted my CV and talked to them over there, and um, we connected, and it all worked out. What are your long-term goals that this position is helping you to achieve? Really, my long-term goal is to find a position that really integrates both informatics and medication safety. So this fellowship is really a perfect launching pad for a position in informatics and medication safety because it combines both of my passions. But through this fellowship, I might find that I'm really more passionate about informatics or medication safety, so um, that might take me in that direction too. But really, it prepares me for both areas or a combination of both. So I think that this really prepares me well for a future career in informatics and medication safety. So what information do you wish you had earlier in your pharmacy career? I really wish that I knew it was okay to be a non-traditional pharmacist. My P1 and P2 year, I kind of figured out that I didn't really like working with patients. And it was kind of scary because at my school they were really kind of pushing residency and maybe a little bit more patient interaction focused careers. And I was kind of freaked out because I didn't know anything about non-traditional careers. So I had to go out and find that information on my own. So I really wish that I had known how to find that information and that it was really okay and that there are a lot of careers out there. And it's really just kind of a Google search away. Just find something that you're really interested in and really passionate about and look it up because there's probably someone doing it or probably someone looking for someone to do it. So really just get out there look for something that you like to do and just try to find someone who's interested in looking for someone just like you. So what three specific pieces of advice would you give someone if they were looking for a role like yours? First I would say you really have to network and it can just start as a small little bit of networking. If there was someone that you went to, you saw at a professional talk and you really liked what they had to say or you thought their career was really interesting and you grabbed their business card, just send them an email. Or if you met someone at a career fair and you really liked their company, send them an email. And it just has to be a quick email communication and maybe it can escalate to coffee or lunch later on. But I found something really helpful uh, for networking is really just kind of pretending like they're friendships. Um, it takes a lot of pressure off of you instead of trying to force conversation. Just pretend like you're trying to make a new friend. And it, it really goes a lot easier that way. Um, second, I would say try to get involved in some sort of organization, whether it's within pharmacy school or within a professional sort of manner or even outside, like at the Humane Society or something like that. Just try to get involved in some manner. Um, when I was interviewing for positions, for fellowships, for jobs, they really asked me a lot about my organizations, my involvement in that, and my leadership positions. So I would say just really try to pick one, two, maybe three organizations and just really try to get involved and if you can try to get a leadership position but if you can't it's okay. My third recommendation especially if you're really interested in maybe industry or maybe an informatics position like mine is try to do a little bit of research. So I got my research position actually a little bit more non-traditionally as well. Um, I was interested in my microbiology class and I just mass emailed all my professors and one of them answered back my current PI and that's how I got into my lab and I ended up just loving it. But you can also try to specifically pick out people that you're interested in working with as well and do it that way. But I would say research is definitely important to have on your resume if you're interested in going into industry or something that's a little more research focused. 
Thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the emailing list on the nontraditionalpharmacist.com. We will not spam you. We promise we will not spam you. What we will do is provide you first access to our interviews and the exclusive content found on the nontraditionalpharmacist.com absolutely before anyone else has access to it so you can start exploding your pharmacy network.